there are many bad cases you can get as your last pair when solving F2L and CFOP, but what if I told you? There are algs that are sometimes faster than the standard algorithm and also give you a better last layer by giving you full edge orientation. Today I'm going to teach you 8 nasty last pair cases which you've definitely seen before and how to deal with them. For case number 1, you'd normally do something like this. And you could either insert it normally or do a sledge. But for this one, you want to take it out with a F, U, F. And then do this. For the second one, you'd normally rotate and then insert it like that. Or once again, you can sledge it to get partial here. But for this one, you can do a hedge and then insert it the same way as before. Next case, you'd normally do something like this and insert with a sledge, or you could just insert it normally if you're feeling special. But this way, you want to do hedge and then an S insert with the free pair. Next up, we got this one. Normally, you would do F inverse sexy and insert, but here you can actually do S prime, R U R prime S, and then that gives you a free pair. Next up, this case, which is normally a 7 mover, and from here you can do this, you can do this. Or you could just do that. You can get full EO by doing F prime U to F, a U prime move, and then hedge and cancel into a free pair insert. Next up is this one where you can rotate, insert it normally, or to get full EO, just do F sexy F prime and solve the pair for this logic. There's a hair stuck in my cube. So for the standard alg, you do this, and then the sledge insert, or once again, normal insert if you're feeling special. But from here, you can do U, and then this weird com wide R thing. Lastly, we have this case where you'd normally do this and insert in the back. But for this alg, you want to do R U2 R prime, and then this is a very common trigger in lots of ZBLS algs. 